Hey guys, it's 7.35 in the morning. Hot diggity dog. It is time to yard sale. Um, let me see here. So it's, uh, what day is it? It is the 24th of June. Um, I have a special map planned out. I'm actually going all the way up to York, Pennsylvania. For those of you who don't know, I live in Maryland. Um, so it's quite the stretch here, but I've just been getting really lucky lately up there in good old PA. So I figured I would shoot my shot and head on up there. I'm about one minute away from my first sale. We're here on the, uh, uh, the northern edge of Maryland uh, on a little street called Bartholo Road. So uh, hopefully the rain you know, didn't scare the, uh, the sellers away from posting up. And they've got sweet, delicious, great cartridge games for us to find, clean, and review. Ha! Ah, this is Slippy Frog TV. You're watching Super Bargain Brothers. Um, all right, guys. Uh, don't mind my dad glasses. Um, I don't even see yard sale signs unless I'm wearing these. Uh, that's how bad my vision has become in my old age. But uh, I just I got my first score. It's not exactly retro video games, but it is video games related. Um, I just got these wireless Astro A50s um, for uh, for five bucks. Yes, it came with the charger, the charging base here. Uh, and the wire or the charging cord, but uh, yeah, got them for five bucks, which to me is a super duper steal. So, uh, off to a great start. Hopefully, the day only gets better. Holy crap, guys! Uh, definitely, definitely one of the best scores I've ever gotten. Uh, doing this, uh, this whole bag for ten dollars. Um, these are the first two games that were in there. <laughs> I mean, dude, they're in their pristine condition. And uh, check this out, Sapphire as well. Oh my God, you guys, it's insane. A leg alpha team uh, for Game Boy Color, dude. Tons of Game Boy Color games, tons of GBA games, SpongeBob, Space Invaders, all for five, or I'm sorry, 10 bucks, guys. Uh, yeah, it's insane, it's insane. Between the Legos and that bag alone, guys, we're well within what we're we got to be around like 400 500 bucks at least. Man, there's so many like sought after minifigs in that bin. I took a brief look, but uh, but yeah, we are um, we're doing good, guys. We are doing good anyway. We're on to the next sale, guys. Like I said, strap up, grab some popcorn. It's getting interesting. We just got Pokemon Sapphire and Pokemon Emerald, it's getting interesting, so uh. Let's, let's do this. All right, guys, it's about it's about 9.42. Um, just crossed the Maryland-Pennsylvania line. Uh, we finally made it to PA. So hopefully we get something good here. It says that we're not even a minute away. Um, cross your fingers, guys, and let's keep the, uh, let's keep the winning streak alive here. Well, guys, it does. <laughs> the um, oh, hold on, let me shut the door here. Oh, the our luck, our streak luck, or luck of our streak of luck. God, I can't, I'm so excited I can't talk. Um, has not run out. Uh, another unlisted sale. Um, there was a ton of stuff out front. It said garage sale, so I stopped. And uh, nobody was outside. I knocked on the door and this kid came out. Um, I said, uh, hey, let me see if I can find it. I said, hey, I noticed this. This was sitting by itself, guys. This is a, a Super Nintendo power adapter. Um, I said, I noticed this power adapter. Do you by chance happen to have the console or the games that might have came with it? Um, he said, yeah, let me check. I think it's in the garage. This kid comes back out with a, a guys, a Bin. I mean, this thing is huge, filled with games. I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna give you like a, a brief rundown on what was in here. But I mean, this, these are all the controllers and cords, and filled. It is 
filled with Super Nintendo games. Um, I mean, everything from Ultraman, Jurassic Park, Aladdin, I see Lion King, Star War, Super Star Wars, Nintendo Selects, Frogger. I mean, dude, this is insane, guys. How Mario Paint, finally, a copy of Mario Paint. We can complete it. Let me see what else. Paperboy 2, Super Mario all stars and super mario world i didn't even know that looked like that super black bass um god i mean good lord the mario paint mouse pad wheel of fortune deluxe edition and of course the super nintendo itself god so much stuff super godzilla 30 bucks guys come on you cannot, I mean, we're out here winning, guys. We were winning. 30 bucks. It's a, it's a solid deal. I have, um, I have no complaints, guys. None at all. All right, on to the next sale, I guess. What's going on, guys? So, uh, it has been about four or five hours since I got back from yard sailing, but it has taken me this long to go through everything that I've come home with between the games, uh, the accessories, the Legos, the clothing, like everything. We got so much, like such a wide variety of items today. It was, it's, it's been insane. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I figured, you know what, I've done enough sorting. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys where I'm at with it all, but there's so much stuff to go over. Uh, get ready, this might be one of my best uh, days yard sale hunting ever. It's gonna be really hard to top this day. So uh, sit back, buckle up, get ready. Let's dive into it. The biggest hits are, are these two right here, these guys. Um, you guys saw me when I got back into the car from this yard sale. Each and every one of these Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games, um, they were all sold together, if I, if my memory serves me correctly, it was like 10 bucks, uh, which is insane. Um, it's a complete copy of Pokemon Emerald. Um, and you know, the, uh, the box overall is in really good condition. There's a big scratch right on Rayquaza there, but I mean, this is like a $300 game. I, I mean, it might even be more, it might be a little less, I think maybe up to 500. You do not come across these often. This is, uh... This is a really, really good score. Um, and of course, right with it, the lady pulled out um, Pokemon Sapphire. And again, overall, pretty decent condition. Um, there is a crease there along with another scratch. But still, I mean, I, I, would, I would take the crease any day. Like, these are overall in great condition. I, I just, I could not believe that this lady had these. Um, and then we have some, like, uh, slightly obscure titles that came with it. Uh... Let me see here, Spongebob Squarepants, Legend of the Lost Spatula. I don't think I ever played this, but I know my little brother was into uh, Spongebob and Spongebob on Game Boy, so he um, he may know what this is. But nonetheless, again, another complete box. Let me see what else. 720 for Game Boy Color with a little hollow strip there. I love the Game Boy Color uh, boxes that have like the hollow Game Boy logo. I just think it looks so cool. It screams 90s. I love it. Lego Alpha Team, Dinosaur, um, copy of Space Invaders, and this guy right here, this Dragon Warrior. I have been looking for this game forever, and I, I could never be more grateful to get this, a complete copy. I mean, this has to be the most pristine box out of the entire Game Boy Color lot. I mean, as you guys can see, it's in incredible condition. I like this. You do not come across this type of stuff in yard sales, man. Like not often, maybe once in a blue moon, you'll find this type of stuff at like a retro video game retailer or a reseller or eBay maybe, but to, to see this at a yard sale, insane. And this is all because I asked the lady, you know, do you have any old uh, video games or any old Nintendo? Um, and she originally said no. And I said, well, what about like the handheld stuff, like DS or Game Boy? 
and she says you know what i might have some game boys so guys sometimes look sometimes it helps to to be just a little bit more specific if they say no you know at first just let them know you know what exactly it is you're looking for and it might you know jog their memory or it might you know let them know that what they originally thought wasn't video games or a form of video games that you're looking for is so you know because of that uh we got dragon warrior um we got pokemon sapphire and pokemon emerald super pumped about that i gotta get these guys in cases asap but first we're gonna we're gonna finish the video complete copy of captain toad treasure tracker i i was so excited to get this i love yoshi games like you know yoshi's island uh yoshi's story um i remember yoshi's woolly world releasing but i never played it so this gives me the opportunity to finally experience this game and of course as you guys know i did just get the uh, the wii u um yep a complete wii u with the box included uh i think it's where is it if you guys can see it, it's right there it's the uh, super mario 3d land edition pre-installed with nintendo land um yeah i got that at a great price too but now i can play yoshi's woolly world so i'm super pumped about that a copy of mario party 10 and a, uh, a copy of Super Mario 3D World. I already have it pre-installed on the Wii U, but you know, because I'm chasing physical copies, like this is gonna stay with me. I love this. Underneath was a PlayStation 3. I have yet to boot this to test it and to uh, farm the disc, see if there's any discs in there. Um, but you know, the, the, the dad said that it was working, you know, they barely used it. It's a little dusty, but uh, I mean, you know, it's a PlayStation 3. And uh, this, there was, this is a very obscure, interesting item. I, I did a little bit of research on it when, uh, when I got home, but um, it's, so it's like a MIDI, it's a MIDI pro adapter. So basically like you can take any MIDI uh, uh, instrument and plug any, like any instrument that has MIDI capabilities, plug it in here, and then you can use it to play Rock Band 3 on pro mode. If you guys know more about this type of stuff, you know, feel free to correct me in the comments, but uh, I've never seen, I didn't know that something like this existed. I didn't even know there was such thing as a uh, uh, pro mode on Rock Band 3. Uh, a controller, it's not a DualShock, it's one of the wired ones, but nonetheless, um, I'm always in need of PlayStation controllers. As you guys can see behind me, this is my PlayStation bin right now. I have sold a lot, I don't have very much, so, uh, you know. I'm happy to, you know, get whatever I can. What else was in there? I think that was it. Oh, oh, oh. Let me go show you guys the uh, the coupe de gras of the entire endeavor. So this guitar was on the top of the bin. Um, it, it's so it's by Fender. Um, it's not by Harmonix, the guys who make Rock Band. It's actually by Fender, but it's. It's a uh, Rock Band 3 compatible. I mean, you can see the buttons here. Um, supposedly this thing goes for quite a good bit. I saw some sell for like, you know, 150, 200 bucks, some closer towards three. I mean, according to my research, again, this is something I don't know too much about. So if you guys have any information on this item or experience with it, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, so I forgot to mention the first yard sale. Um, actually, I think you guys remember this. Uh, the lady had these. She sold these to me for five bucks. It was either five or ten bucks, but it is a pair of Astro A50s, the wireless ones. Uh, these guys are going for like a hundred, a hundred and fifty bucks. Uh, let's, let's move on to the third sale. The third sale was all Super Nintendo. Again, guys, we've been hitting Super Nintendo nonstop. Um, the wall of Super Nintendo is ever expanding and today was no exception. Let me see here, I'm gonna run through some of the titles. I got Paperboy, Super Black Bass, Super Star Wars, Nintendo uh, Player's Choice Edition. I was really happy to get this one. I do have Empire Strikes Back, which I got like two or three days ago from the bar pickup with Brian. Um, let me see. Scooby-Doo Mystery, never played this. Interesting to see what this is all about. Super Mario All-Stars, uh, Super Godzilla, this will be the second uh, Super Godzilla that I've obtained. Let me say Jurassic Park, X-Men Mutant Apocalypse, Ultraman, Lion King by Virgin Games, it's a classic. A Frogger, I mean, 
This is Slippy Frog TV. Like this only makes sense for me to own. <laughs> Third copy that I've found of Our Real Monsters. Copy of Aladdin. I don't think I have this yet. So and again, anything Capcom, I'm absolutely okay with putting into the collection. Uh, let's see what else. Wheel of Fortune Deluxe Edition. Um, I have a complete in box copy of that, but you know. This right here, guys, Mario Paint. I was so excited to get this, and I'm gonna show you why. Hang tight. Boom, there we go, guys. Um, I needed the cartridge. I know it's not the, uh, you know, it's the player's choice edition. It's not the original cartridge, but you know what I mean? It's close enough. Yeah, I've got all the inserts in there. Now I have the mat system itself, uh, but this mouse is kind of, beat up a little bit I mean, it's a little stained i mean I'm, I'm still gonna take it but i uh i have a much where let me see where's here we go i have a much better mouse and much better condition in here somewhere um let me see uh, you know what this one is actually this is, this one isn't as in good of condition as i remember um you know what they both might be equally uh stained up so we'll just have to you know eeny meeny miny mo it let me see here one two three four it came with four controllers if i include the mouse as a controller uh the guy did not have the av cords unfortunately but lucky for me i have dozens i mean dozens of av for super nintendo in here like there's one right there it, you cannot beat it guys you absolutely cannot beat it yard this is why yard sales is by far like the best it takes a little bit more patience and time to build your collection but one it adds a little bit of thrill and fun to the hunt and i mean you get absolutely incredible deals not always but most of the time oh i forgot to mention with the playstation the wii u games like everything from that bin uh was a snes mini yeah, there was a SNES Mini at the bottom, and he was like, yeah, you, we don't even play it. You can, um, you can have it. <laughs> I was like, count me in, man. So I you know, spent some time wrapping up the cords, uh, checking uh, to make sure everything was there. But yeah, I mean, I know it's a good day when I was able to get not only an original Super Nintendo, but also the Super Nintendo Mini. I mean, that's what an awesome pair up. Let's move on from the games. Let's move on to the Legos, because that's an entire another operation. And guys, I promise you, some really, really, really cool stuff going on over there in that bin. All right, guys, so this is all of the Legos that I was able to score today. And uh, all of these came from the same sale. Matter of fact, everything you see here came from this bin. I still, I am still not done going through this bin. Here was a big one. Um, set 6268. If there are any Lego heads in the, uh, or Lego collectors in the comments, sound off guys so I know who you are. Um, I used to love Legos as a kid and I'm just finally getting back into it this year. I was able to find some like Rebel Pilots. Uh, there's actually quite a few. Like here's some Rebel Helmets. Here's a pirate, you know, the pirate flag. This is obviously from, you know, 6268. I'm pretty sure, actually, here we go. Like this, you know, it's like the sand, not, is it Sand Trooper? I can't even remember right now. Um, boom, there we go. We're like 80% done on this guy. Uh, um, I was able to complete R2D2, oh, yikes. I was able to complete R2. I looked for C3PO, I didn't see him, but you know, it's, there's always a chance. I mean, so many, some capes. I mean, these are crispy capes too. Like, I don't even think they put them on any of the figures. They kind of just threw them in there. You can tell like they were like getting, you know, they're bent up a little bit, but still, I mean, this right here, I'm I'm willing to bet 100% that this is Darth Maul's cape. Um, and there's a Qui-Gon Jinn and a Darth Maul in, in this bin somewhere, for sure. It's $10 well spent, man. What a great deal. So between, you know, the games, the Legos, uh, and what I'm gonna show you guys last, uh, we had a really, really, really good day. All right, guys, the reveal. <laughs> a CRT TV, a Sylvania, what is the model? I can't remember the model number, but nonetheless, guys, um, 
I needed a CRT TV so bad for, uh, you know, for all the retro consoles that I've been getting. But yeah, I mean, dude, it, it was free. You can't beat it, guys. It was absolutely free. I wanted to end the video there, but I figured, you know what, we got to test the CRT TV along with the Super Nintendo we got. So, um, plugged her in. Got uh, Super Godzilla right here. Let's see how she sounds. Let's see how she looks. Oh, she works. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is so awesome. Guys, we did it. Another great day in yard sale hunting. I mean, this is, this is my childhood come true. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out. Um, your guys, your views and uh, your engagement in the videos, it means so much to me. Thank you, seriously. I have a lot of fun doing this. Uh, you know, who doesn't love hunting for expensive games really cheap? Um, yeah, so I'd love to chat with you guys. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, share this with any of your friends who like retro video games. I'm gonna try and upload more as much as I can. Um, I'm Slippy Frog, and I'll see you guys on the next one.